um, he has sharp teeth and three noses and red eyes and n mad eyebrows. He had human teeth, but he he was still really scary. He had really long hair. His fingernails were super long. And he didn't even have feet. They were just claws. It was really creepy. Well, the monster was super bad and scary. He always scared us. We had to run away from him. But the only place he did not go was the bathroom. That's where we always hid in the bathroom. That's basically the only place we sleep, eat, talk, and play in. Unless we want to go out and then get spotted by the monster and then come back to our bathroom. That's really all we do. Well, I, I owned a coffee shop and every night before I uh, closed the coffee shop, he'd always come in and he'd knock over all my tables and chairs outside and I'd have to fix them back up again. It was a real pain and in one time he even trapped me inside of my bathroom. He left me in there for eight hours. the monster. Oh yeah, we should fight the monster. Oh, we should fight the monster. Ow, ow, ow! Mm, we should fight the monster. We're glad that we beat the monster finally, and we can get out of that stinky bathroom. Now we have nothing to worry about. Just sense the joy of feeling more freedom from the bondage of the monster.
monster now. Because now he's gone and I don't want him to be gone. I remember we always used to go outside, play for at least 10 minutes, and the monster would come chasing us. It was really fun. Well, about a week after we defeated him, I, I walked out and I, and I saw my tables and chairs. And I thought, you know, I kind of miss him. I mean, it's kind of crazy because my whole life I just wanted to get rid of him, but in that moment I saw my chairs there and I was just like, no, I kind of miss him. It was, it was just kind of funny because he was a monster and nobody likes monsters, but it was just kind of sad. I'm Bob with Monsters Incorporated. If you've got a broken monster, no problem. I can fix it. Guaranteed. I'm the best monster fixer in the world. Call this number today. Bob, we got a job for you.